Overnight, there has been an update on whether fans will be allowed into venues at the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. Organizers have confirmed Japanese spectators will be allowed, setting the limit at 50 percent of the venue's capacity, up to 10,000 people. The Games kick off in just over a month in the capital city, where the Japanese government recently lifted the state of emergency. But Tokyo remains under heavy restrictions ahead of the Olympics, as officials warn of a potential coronavirus surge. NBC News correspondent Janice Mackey Freyer joins us now with the latest from Beijing. Janice, big news this morning. What went into this decision and how are athletes as well as fans reacting to it? Well, months of speculation went into this decision, Ellison. Uh, there had been a lot of anticipation because this was seen as a final hurdle uh, for officials. And so with this decision, it looks like there's a boost in certainty that the games will still go ahead despite these lingering concerns. Now, this doesn't affect any foreign visitors. That was determined months ago that there would be no foreign fans allowed into Olympic venues. But it is good news for domestic fans. Uh, officials saying that they will have 50 percent capacity at each venue to a maximum of 10,000 people. The challenge that they have now, though, is that they pre-sold about four million tickets. So it looks like they're going to be putting it all into a lottery system to determine who gets to go to which events. The competition schedule remains unchanged. And Tokyo, I understand, still has a lot of COVID-19 restrictions in place. What would happen if cases do start to rise? before the games begin. Well, officials were very clear in making this determination today that if another state of emergency was required in, over, in order to get COVID infections under control or if there was uh, other needs beyond their control, that they would uh, look at reevaluating these plans for domestic fans or scrapping them altogether. We have to remember that the top advisor, the top medical advisor in Tokyo just last week cautioned against having any fans. He said that the safest way to pull off the games would be to have nobody there. And the majority of Japanese are opposed to having the games at all. Polls have been showing uh, roughly 80 percent of people uh, not wanting the games to happen. Thousands of volunteers have quit. The concern, of course, is that this is going to be a massive super spreader event with thousands of athletes and officials pouring into Tokyo from around the world. And I mean, you, you look at Uganda's Olympic team, they just had a member of that team test positive for COVID-19 and they were not allowed into Japan. Is that something that's raising any additional concerns since athletes do not have to be vaccinated? Well, it's, it's raising concerns because the, the athlete who tested positive um, uh, on arrival appears to have been turned back, but uh, teammates who could be considered close contacts were apparently allowed to carry on. Uh, so there will be some scrutiny um, of exactly how officials are going to carry out the screening process. They say that athletes are going to be tested regularly. They have other restrictions in place, like a no socializing policy at the athlete's village. They have a ban on shouting and uh, also rules on wearing masks uh, when traveling between venues. The the IOC president at the news conference today said that they are confident in the fact that 80 percent of athletes and officials who will be staying at the athletes village will be vaccinated. And they stressed the importance of having spectators watching live for the athletes self-esteem. Here's more of what he had to say. So uh, for the residents of uh, the Olympic villages, it will be well above 80 percent. So it looks like these games will go ahead again. They'll reevaluate things after July 12th, depending on the situation with the spread of COVID-19. But that means that the opening ceremony, Ellison, is just a little over one month away. Hard to believe. Well, Janice, thank you so much for that report. We appreciate it. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.